Buenos dias, this is Kai Pacha with the weekly Pele report for July 10th, 2013. And we've got a few things going on. It's an astrological forecast as above, so below. As without, so within. I am out here in a little bit of a tropical paradise here. I'm going to try to get this report done before it starts raining. <laughs> That's the thing about the green tropics here is it takes a little bit of water to make that happen. Uh, speaking of water now, you know, we are talking about the moon because we've got the sun in Cancer, Jupiter in Cancer, Black Moon Lilith in Cancer, Mercury in Cancer, and Mars is going to go into Cancer indeed on Saturday. This weekend we have Mars moving into Cancer, Venus in Leo. Right now the moon is in Leo. Let's kind of just head off the beaten track here into the jungle a little bit and see what's going on over here. And you know, the moon today, Wednesday, is in Leo. Tomorrow it goes into Virgo and it stays in Virgo until Sunday when it moves into Libra. And we have that first quarter square moon. Libra to the sun in Cancer is happening on Monday. 23 degrees Libra to 23 degrees of Cancer. Talk a little bit about what that means. And then on Tuesday goes into Scorpio. This is just quite a stand here of bamboo that I wanted to share with you before I sat down and gave the report. So the main things are the sun is still conjunct Mercury. Mercury is still retrograde this whole week. Jupiter exactly conjoins with Lilith on Friday at three degrees of Cancer. So we're gonna talk about these main issues going on here. What all that portends, what life is about this week as soon as I find a little spot down by the creek here where it's nice and I can relax and chat for a while. Aloha, I seem to have found a, a bit of a spot here. There's a lot of mosquitoes, so this could be a short Pele report. <laughs> and it's very, I mean, this is so appropriate. I'm, I'm kind of under the bamboo. I'm by this creek that's coming through. And you can maybe see behind me the results of when it has been heavy torrential downpours, this rain and the water comes rushing through and it takes away the soil, it takes the wood, it takes everything out of its way, it takes everything in its way and it moves it. It's the power of mother nature. And this is what you're really, you know, this is so profound for this week. It's the perfect setting for what's going on now because Mars is moving into Cancer, the mother. No one fools with Mother Nature. There's an old saying, nature can be cruel. It's also very powerful now with this moon moving into Virgo this weekend. And, in, and as it moves into Virgo, it's going to oppose Chiron and, and Neptune in the sign of Pisces, which is chaos. <laughs> After that, yes, then by Saturday this weekend, it moves then again into Libra and creates the grand square. The grand square, this moon in Libra, opposite Uranus in Aries, squaring Pluto up in Capricorn, which is opposite Jupiter and Lilith down here in the sign of Cancer. That grand square coming. Finally, the moon moves into Scorpio where it conjuncts with Saturn and creates this grand trine between Neptune and Chiron and again Jupiter in Cancer with Lilith. So we've got this, the moon is moving. It's the feminine goddess energy of change, of emotion, of feeling, of the subtle energy, of the instinct. This is a very powerful time of each one of us tapping into our inner feminine nature. 
And that inner feminine nature wants to change, will change, just like the phases of the moon. And the great goddess embraces change. And nature is all about change. And here's where we run into the dilemma of Mars, of the masculine, coming into the sign of Cancer. In the ancient old astrology, Mars is in, they say it's in its fall in the sign of Cancer. It's exalted in the sign of Capricorn. Ambition, drive, physical, material, security, and structure and form. Capricorn. And it's in its fall when it comes into the emotional life, the feeling life, the inner child, and change. But what we're doing now is we're creating a new paradigm. We're redefining some of these old concepts that were really brought about through a lot of patriarchy, through a lot of male domination. That was about what? Resisting change, resisting nature. The patriarch came in and had Adam name Okay, Adam, you know, you guys are in charge, you know, uh, reproduce, multiply, fill the earth, you know, like control nature, name the plants and the animals, like we are exalted beings. This is all patriarchal stuff. There's somehow been some kind of illusion that, you know, we're, that if you're powerful, you resist change. We build, you know, steel uh, buildings and, you know, in the old indigenous peoples, they made huts and houses that lasted as long as they did. And when you died, your house fell down and that's just fine. And nature returned to the way she was. You know, what's this idea of resisting change, of making things permanent? We want to learn from nature. We want to learn how to change. We want to learn how to adapt. So Mars moving into the sign of Cancer, we want to look forward to our instinct. And what's Mars in Cancer? Oh, they associate with domestic strife, <laughs> yeah, arguing at home, <laughs> you know, violent childhood, <laughs> you know, all kinds of stuff going on around here. It's great being down here in Costa Rica with the Latin blood going on. Anyway, it's kind of a different, you know, reality than uh, the controlled, thought-oriented, strategic, let's work it out, let's analyze it, let's figure it. This is like Mars and Cancer. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. It doesn't make sense. It's what I want. It's how I feel. <laughs> and you know what? I suggest that this is a time of us acknowledging the beauty of feeling, the power of feeling, and that it is about transformation, it is about change, and, there is, and it's not a sign of weakness. It's not like I'm breaking down or falling apart, or it's, it's like, you know what, it's good. My instinct is good. It's driving me. You know, this Mars, Mars moon, Mars moon aspects, that's your highest sexual attraction. It's like emotion mixed with passion, mixed with fire and water. It's like, it creates steam. This does not have to be a fall, the opposite of exaltation. This does not have to be looked at in a negative light. Yeah, like it's okay for men to get angry, but women and girls are not supposed to get mad and not supposed to vent. Yeah, and even men are supposed to control their anger, control your feelings, control your emotions. Uh, 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 uh. Let's make that the past. Let's make it that, you know what, my anger is a motivational force of change, that it's a positive influence, that my emotions and my instinct are natural, just like the deer in the forest or the jaguar or the lion. It's driving me forward towards my future and that my feelings are not to be denied and suppressed and controlled and ignored. Duh! No wonder I get angry. When we suppress things, it creates tension and pressure and anger. I'm saying now's the time. And this is why this mantra for this week, yeah, this mantra for this week, if I can recall it now, you gotta have patience with me here. Yeah?
Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I feel a storm is brewing. It both frightens and excites. My powerful natural instinct, like lightning, will soon strike. That's what this is about. That's what this time is about. Mars is the sword quality of the masculine, and it's coming in as a protective force. Cancer wants to protect, and Mars can come in as the guardian at the gate, as the guard of the home, of the children, of those who can't protect themselves. And it's the fight or the flight. This is a time to fight. This is a time for flight. This is a time to make change. And what kind of change is involved with this? The moon is moving through Virgo. Yeah, Thursday to Saturday. And I'm, I'm really just looking at this whole thing of Cancer, Virgo. This is the, f I'm, I'm thinking of food. I'm thinking of health. I'm thinking of nature and organic materials and no GMOs. And you know, this is a time of really looking at our diets, looking at our exercise, looking at our bodies and protecting ourselves and protecting mother nature and protecting our home, which is planet Earth. This is a super powerful time. Mars is going to be in Cancer, yeah? Right up until, what, uh, August 27th, like a month and a half. Okay, this is, you know, this is a time of, and I'm going to be talking about this, I'm sure, for a while now, <laughs> you know, until, you know, August 27th. This Mars is moving through. It's coming around to Lilith, and Lilith Jupiter is one angry woman that says, I've had it up to here. I've had enough. No one fools with Mother Nature. <laughs> yeah, thunder and lightning. And there is this kind of excitement around it, you know. I mean, when we're kids, you know, there's this kind of, well, you know, is the house safe? Is the house secure? Then let's go up to the window and watch the lightning. And it's like I love the display of natural power. Maybe there's going to be like a tornado, you know, or maybe a, a tree limb is going to fall down on the house or, a, you know, something, you know, drastic and amazing is going to happen. The power of Mother Nature is both terrifying and magnificent and beautiful. And let's focus on the magnificence. Let's focus on the beauty of the display of the power of that emotion that can lead to sexual orgasm and the explosion within. And not be so concerned about maintaining appearances and staying, you know, it's like if, if you're in alignment with the seasons of change, there is security. It's like the farmer knows that when he plants his seed, it's going to grow and there's going to be a harvest. We can take you know, we can like get a sense of security in the in the evolving, changing seasons that are that we are a part of. Instead of trying to always be spring, or always have summer, or always have heat and light, and resist nighttime, and resist resist the winter, and resist the storms. No, we can actually take security in knowing. You know, that after the rain, you know, the sun is going to shine again and, and the rainbows are going to come out with the rain. And it's like, take, you know, take security at this sense of safety that we are being held and that, you know, w that there is a flow. So, I feel, what is it? <laughs> you should know now. <laughs> I feel a storm is brewing. It's, it both frightens and excites. The powerful natural, my powerful natural instincts, like lightning, soon will strike.
These next couple of weeks, when Mars comes to Lilith, when Mars comes to Jupiter, and when this moon comes around into that T-square, even this weekend, it's a time to make change. Trust your anger, trust your instinct, trust your passion that you are a natural animal, you are a natural being, you are part of the jungle, part of the forest, and the mother nature is acting, coming up through within you. And it's beautiful, and it's right, and it doesn't have to be logical, rational, reasonable, and, what do we say, boring? <laughs> Namaste, aloha, so much love.